Hi, I'm Jo from Wilsonville Library, and I have a book that I think is great for your 5th through 8th graders. Small Spaces by Katherine Martin. Ollie has had a tough year. She suffered an unbelievable loss, and she hasn't really felt herself. She no longer likes to do math or, or play softball. She just wants to hang out you know, by herself, go to bed, and read. She has something that she's kept, though, from the accident. Um, it's a digital watch that her mother had. It's been broken since the accident, but she always wears it and always keeps it close to her. It hasn't been too bad this summer, but like I said, she's only wanted to stay alone. And school starts up, and 11-year-old Ollie has to go back to school. She's not really thrilled about it. She doesn't really want to hang out with anybody. She's still suffering from what has happened to her. She starts up school, and it's the same old, same old, gets the assignments, and then the fifth graders, they do something, the same thing that they've done every year, and that's to go to a field trip, to this historical farm that's set the way it was set 100 years ago. She um, gets on the bus, but she notice, notices one of the things from the get-go was that the bus driver is not the same bus driver that she's used to. He is just sitting there in his seat with his hands gripping the steering wheels, a steering wheel. And when Ollie Gumps gets on board the bus, he turns to her and he says, avoid the large spaces, stick to the small spaces. And Ollie goes, what? But then everybody's trying to pile on the bus. So she takes her seat and they go off to the farm. And it's, you know, what you kind of expected. They reenact a lot of the things. They're dressed in period clothing. But the other strange thing that she notices at this farm is that there's a lot of scarecrows. And I'm, I mean a lot. And these scarecrows are dressed in all sorts of different time eras. But what's even more distinct about them, instead of, you know, having the re regular, you know, stuffed straw hands, they have farm tools like trowels. Um, rakes, they even have paintbrushes, and she thinks, this is really strange. Well, it's time to end the field trip, and everybody piles on back to, onto the bus, and it's one of those late fall um, evenings where it, it gets dark really quick, and the fog starts to roll in, and all of a sudden, the bus stops. The bus driver won't get out, he won't fix the bus, and the teacher says, well, what's the problem? Goes up and talks to the bus driver, and the bus driver says, I'm not getting out of the bus. So the teacher kind of hems and haws and realizes that he doesn't have connectivity with his cell phone to get help to help them with the broken down bus. And he says, well, tells the kids, you stay here on the bus. I'm going to walk back to the farm. You'll be safe with the bus driver. And so the teacher walks off into the fog back to the farm. Ollie notices suddenly she looks to her right and she sees scarecrows, like the same ones she saw at the farm. And then she looks to her left, there's scarecrows out the window of the bus. She looks ahead of her, scarecrows out the front of the bus. And then she looks behind her, and there's scarecrows behind the bus. She realizes the bus has been surrounded. And then she looks at the watch on her wrist, you know, the one that's been broken since the accident. And the watch, the digital read says, run. Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. It's available at your linked libraries in e-format or e-audiobook.